What's going on guys? Mark here from Yutzman Gaming and today we're talking Dying Light and we're going to talk about the Enhanced Edition and whether you think it is worth it or not. I would love it if anyone would give me a comment here and just shoot me a message and let me know what you're going to do with this game. Are you going to just get the following? Are you going to get the Seasons Pass? Or are you going to get the Enhanced Edition? Now, the Enhanced Edition is going to be about 40 bucks more I think then if you bought the following itself, just the DLC. And with the Enhanced Edition you get, apparently the graphics are going to be a lot better. It does come with the Nightmare Mode which is the Enhanced AI that the zombies are not just going to be stupid, they are going to actually fight back a little more and they might be a little harder to catch. In the Nightmare Mode you also get uh, longer nights, tougher enemies, more tougher enemies all the time and I'm just curious about what you guys think about that and where you stand. I think myself, I am going to give up my old copy of Dying Light and I am going to get the Enhanced Edition. I mean, why not? It's going to give you the better graphics, it's going to give you the Nightmare Mode. I mean, you're still going to get everything that you're going to get otherwise if you order the following, but you're just going to get that, you're going to have that little added edge of having, you know, the better graphics, the better AI, all the stuff that comes with the Enhanced Edition as well. So if you guys could just shoot me a comment on the bottom, make sure you put one in, tell me what you think, what you're going to do, I'd love to know. Now moving on to the following itself. What I'm looking forward to more than anything else in this entire game has got to be the dune buggies. I mean, I've seen so much video of these. I'm not one of the guys that gets the game early. I haven't played it yet. I'm not going to get it until it comes out on the 9th. But I am looking forward to the dune buggies more than anything just because they have their own skill tree. I mean, they are crazy. Totally upgradable, weaponizable. You can... I've seen flamethrowers. I've seen... A, electrocutioners on the front of these things. These things are sick. They look like you can do big jumps. There's jumps in the game. There's all kinds of different terrain for you to travel. I mean, these dune buggies are gonna be sick. That's it, enough said. From the following, I'm also looking forward to actually escaping Haran. It is gonna be sick, it is gonna be epic. I can't wait to get out of that city and travel to a new area, especially with the area that is supposed to be bigger than both maps already in Dying Light, so it's going to be a huge area to traverse to get around, but we've got the dune buggies, so it is going to make it so much easier. I mean, Dying or, uh, Dead Island had, you know, which was a great zombie game, I'll say, and uh, a predecessor to Dying Light. I have to say that the, the cars were good, but they were generic. They were just stupid cars, broke down pieces of shit that you could travel through the town, but you couldn't really do anything with them. These dune buggies, they're just, they're gonna be so epic. I, I just, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. So, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you drop it a like. Uh, I'm Mark from Youth Man Gaming. I gotta go, I'm out of time. So you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I look forward to more videos coming on Tuesday from the following, baby. All right, I'm Mark, I'm out of here, later.